Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three different animated stamp style text effects using the new type tool. So I've got a couple clips laid out on the timeline, I'm going to put my text over, and this was all inspired kind of by Drake's Hotline Bling artwork, where it's got the stamped repeated text. So I'm going to grab my type tool to create my first layer, and just click on the program window and type out whatever I want. So I'm going to type out stamp text effect and you can highlight your text and adjust the font and size to your needs. The font that I'm using is called Futura and I have it set to medium size and I'm also working in the essential graphics panel or the effects control panel. So if you don't see this you can go to window essential graphics and this will allow you to edit your text size and all that. So I'm going to click and drag this into this panel here so I can work with it. And here I'm going to move it to the left a little bit and keeping true to the original Drake inspired artwork, I'm going to make it kind of fill up the whole screen. Once you've got your first line of text ready, there's a few ways we can actually duplicate it. But the way that I'm going to use so that we can animate things pretty easily is I'm actually just going to duplicate this original text layer. So I'm going to hold alt and just drag it upwards and that'll create a copy. And then on the copy in the effects control panel, I'll move the positioning down a little bit and create that stamp. So I'm just going to hold alt, drag it up, make a copy. You can always copy and paste it the manual way and it'll automatically create these new tracks and I'll just move it down until we fill up the entire image. So this one should take about six lines of text. So now that we've got our six easy text layers, there's some simple ways that we can animate them on and off. For example, I can just cut the ends of this and have each animation start at a certain point. So when I play that back, it'll look like stamping over. Or I can also end each one when the next one starts. So then it looks like it's animating over. So visually, it looks like a staircase, but the text is animating one by one. And you can pretty quickly create a reverse of that animation by just alt dragging or creating a copy and create a reverse of that animation going back upward or you can mix and match it so it's not even but easy stamp effect right there where it looks like the text is moving up and down. Along with animating each of these I can go into one or two of them go back into the essential graphics panel and do a few things to the text to make it stand out. I could change the font, I could change the color or I can even change it to be just a stroke instead of a fill. So in the appearance I'll check stroke instead and now just for this one, let me highlight the text, make sure I turn off the fill and turn on the stroke. And now instead of having a filled color, it goes fill, stamp, fill, fill, fill. And you can mix and match different ones with different colors. So when I play that back, it's another interesting visual effect. You can make it match up to the music, change the fonts and colors and spice it up. And also play around with the timing and just make it your, your own. And the third and final way to just have an animation in a more simple minimal way is let's just take one of these layers. So let's work on this new clip. I'm going to click it, go to the essential graphics panel and center it in the middle for this case. Reset the scale and the position in the effects control panel. So now it's in the middle and I'll just animate between having it be a filled solid text or a stroke. So I'll duplicate this solid and on the second one I will go into the essential graphics panel. I'll highlight it and just like we did before I'll change it from filled to stroke. I'll change the size, color, whatever I want. And now I can easily just switch between solid to not and just alternate between those just by creating copies as many times as I want. So play around with the timing, the length, whatever you want. And you also have an interesting animated effect that you can play around with music, color, and all that. So those are three at least variations of that animated stamp effect that I was inspired to do by Drake's Hotline Bling album artwork. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And subscribe to the channel if you're not yet to stay tuned for daily creative videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, if you want to reach out to me. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.